Hello and welcome back to IBTM World Barcelona. We're here on day three of the show. We're just winding down. So we thought we'd grab Alistair Turner for a quick chat about his IBTM World Industry Trends Report. So thanks for joining us here in the Knowledge Theatre. Nice to see you, Laura. Thank you. Thank you. So yeah, we're a little bit more echoey. We're in a different place than normal, not on the show floor, but uh, just secreted ourselves away up in uh, the Knowledge Theatre to have a bit of a chat. So why don't we start off first? Obviously, the Industry Trends Report is a year in the making, but um, I know noticed in your session earlier that you've said it's a bit more positive this year than I think we've had in previous years. How's it felt to create that? Oh, it, it, it really good. I mean, look, first of all, the bar was low. 2020 <laughs> and 2021 have been really hard for a lot of people. But you know what's well lovely about it? A, it's positive. B, I feel like momentum is back within the industry. And yeah. I talked during my session about frontiers and how we look towards us. And if we come through with momentum and positivity, and it doesn't have to be just being about better than last year, it's our own our own frontier to cross now and I'm really excited about that I just feel very infused by it absolutely I think it's just been nice to look at everything now with a little bit less fear I think it's just been lovely to to look at it and go yeah these things could happen these yeah, things could get there exactly and we, t we talked about the line you know pre-pandemic post-pandemic and it, it's not really about where that line goes it's an attitude now yeah um, this industry has got its mojo back it's needed it's come off the back of some really really hard times and if anything that I see around IBTM tells me anything is that we've we've got our buzz back we what yeah. we do matters it has more value than probably it's ever had before. So actually we should be really, really confident that all the things that will fly at us over the next 12 months and there will be things. Absolutely. We can maybe deal with it a little bit more. Excellent, yeah. I think, yeah, I think you're right. I think there's a lot to come. And um, I suppose what I'd love to know is what is the one thing that you've talked about in the report that you've really enjoyed finding out about what was the most interesting thing you found while you were creating it? Do you know what's really interesting? It's, it's funny, what I loved is the converging trends and the converging industries and all these things that as they change and cross, they create value and interest. But do you know what? At the right very end, just to, almost like the last word, it came on to me about what was the primary objective or responsibility of event organizer was to go and find its audience. And as soon as I started thinking about that, everything fell into place. It's about a diversity, equality, inclusion. It's about sustainability. It's about hybrid. It's about everything that the last two years and the next 10 are going to be dictated by. And it's about this renewed optimism, optimism I have of events being able to find their audiences, wherever they are, whoever they are, background, race, color, creed. And I kind of thought, wow, that's that's exciting. I was really ha happy about that. Yeah, and I loved what you talked about earlier in the session. Um, if you didn't know, Alistair has done two sessions of the Trends Report, so I think <laughs> he's got it pretty ingrained in his head now. But um, he, you covered a lot about esports and about pharma and how they've crossed over, and I just found that so fascinating. Yeah, it's, it, what we want to do is we want to learn from those outside of our industry as well. And I think um, there's some amazing data in this industry, fantastic insight about what we do. But actually, when we go out there and we look at young industries like esports, Sports and what they're doing with their experiences and events and how they're talking to brands and businesses and pharma, which is this slow beast, but so enjoyable, so interesting, so diverse. We, we, we come back with so many morsels of information yeah. and facts that dictate what we're going to be doing next year. Absolutely. And I suppose finally, because we've only got a short amount of time before you have to dash off, but um, what would you say if you have to give people one takeaway that they, they could take from the report or your sessions, what would it be? I think it's that last point. I think it's about, as an event organizer, what is your first responsibility? Yeah. And what tools do you have that you've never had before? And what opportunity you have that you've never had before to go out there and find your audiences and how you can affect change by doing so, doing things in a really good way. But it was just, yeah, it's about finding your audience. Definitely. Well, thank you so much for this quick chat. It's been lovely to catch up with you, hear a little bit more about the behind the scenes of creating your report. And if people would like to um, read the report in full, you can find it on the IBTM World website. So go ahead and download it. We'd love to hear what you think about all of the great insights in there. And thank you for joining me. Thank you so much. It's been a pleasure.